We are welcome to Mathematics Immunity. Today, the topic is quadratic equation under quadratic formula method. We've discussed about four methods, the calculation method of solving equation, the computer square method, this quadratic formula method, and we have a graphical method. Now, AS squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero. Solve this by computing the square method. This is the general form of the quadratic equation. And by computing the square method last class, we said that step one, divide through, divide through, through by A, by A. To make the equation of S squared to the one, divide through by A. So we have AX squared over A plus BX over A plus C over A is equal to zero over A. A, we divide A, you have x squared plus b over ax plus c over a, 0 over a, 0. Step 2, transfer the constant term to the right hand side. So we have x squared plus b over ax is equal to minus c over a. Step 3, the question of x is b over a. So add to both sides. We have left hand side and right hand side. Add to both sides. Half the square of half of the coefficient of x, which is b over a, all square. The square of half of this coefficient. The coefficient is the number in front of the unknown or variable. So 1 times b, b, 2 times a, 2a, all squared. We're adding to both sides, left hand side and right hand side. x squared plus b over ax plus b over 2a squared is equal to minus c over a plus b over 2a all squared. Now we have done is that we have completed the square by making this expression a perfect square. You have square, you have square. So you pick x plus b over 2a all squared. When you multiply this twice, you will have this classic expression, the perfect square. So we have minus c over a plus b raised to the power 2, b square over 2 squared, that's 4, a square is a square. So we find the LCM here. So we have the LCM is 4a square. So a in 4a square give you 4a. 4a times minus c minus 4ac plus 4a square 4a square is 1. 1 times b square. You have b square. So to eliminate the square, you square both sides. Square both, not square, the square root of both sides. Square root square root of both sides square root of both sides so we have that x plus b over 2a the square have gone then you have the square root over this because of this square root you have plus or minus then i can write b square minus 4ac over 4a square why do i have plus or minus because that's the expression have two roots and I've, and i told you in the last class i give an instance square root of 9 can be plus or minus 3. 3 times 3, 9. Minus 3 and minus 3 is also 9. So x is equal to bring this here. You have minus b over 2a plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over square root of 4 is 2. Square root of a square is a. Therefore, x is LCM is 2a. So we have 2a in 2a1. 1 times minus b. Minus b plus or minus 2 in 2a1. 1 times this square root of b squared minus 4ac. This formula, this is what we call the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. We can use quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations just as we can use completing the square method to solve quadratic equations. So this formula was derived from completing the square method. From the previous um, video, we have this first example is under the completing the square method. So you can confirm that. And the other one is from preparation method. So you can confirm your answers. So we are solving by conductive formula method. Now, the, the unknown here is y. So y is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That's your formula. So a, b, c are the coefficient of the conductive equation. So a is the coefficient of y square. So a is 4, write that your parameters. B is the coefficient of y plus 5, and C is the constant 10, that's minus 21. You now substitute into your quadratic formula.
So y is equal to minus b as minus 5 plus or minus square root of b is 5 square minus 4 times 4 times minus 21 over 2a, 2 times a, a is 4. So you have that y is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 5 square is 25. Then minus times minus is plus. Then 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 21. So 21 times 16. 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 2, 12. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 2, 2. You have 6, 3, 3. 3, 3, 6. Divided by 2, 8. That's 2 times 4. We have 8. So minus 5 plus or minus 25 plus this. 11, 6. 3. That is square root of 361 over 8. This is equal to minus 5 plus or minus. Square root of this is 19 over 8. Therefore, y is equal to minus 5 plus 19 over 8 or minus 5 minus 19 over 8. So 19 minus 5 will give you 14 over 8. Yes, 14. Minus minus 19, that's minus 24 over 8. So you break this down, 2 here, 4, 2 in 14 is 7. 2 in 8, 4, yes, it's correct. So y is 7 over 4, or 8 times 3, that's 24 minus 3. This is an improper fraction, so you change to miss fraction. 4 is 7, 1, and 3 over 4, or minus 3. Number B, s squared plus 7s plus 10 is equal to 0. The unknown is x. So you write x. In the previous uh, example, we wrote y. We're looking for y, but now we're looking for x. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now you take your, you write your parameters. a is the equation of s squared. That's 1. Then b, equation of x, that's plus 7. And C is the constant term, that's plus 10. So you substitute into your formula minus B7. Sometimes B may be minus. If it's negative, it will be minus, minus. I'll go to plus. But B is 7. So you have minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 squared minus 4 times A. A is 1. And C is 10 over 2A. That's 2 times 1. So X is equal to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 squared, that's 49. You check your sign here. That's minus 4 times 10, that's 40 over 2. This equals to minus 7 plus or minus. 49 minus 40 will give you 9. Everything is over 2. So minus 7 plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3 over 2. So x is minus 7 plus 3 over 2 or minus 7 minus 3 over 2. So this is equals to Minus three, 7 plus 3, you are only 7, you have 3, you'll be only 4, minus 4 over 2, or you are only, you are only, minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10 over 2. So x is equal to 2 here, 1, 2 here, 2, minus 2, or minus 5. From the previous videos I uploaded, you realize that these are the questions I gave to you by factorization method. But now you are required to use the quadratic formula. These are five questions. Please lay your hand on these questions. If you have questions outside this, you can write it on the comment on the YouTube platform. Or you can send messages or questions that you have for me to tackle for you on your on my email. My email albert toba2020 at gmail.com. Please be free to make comments feedbacks from you and I also want to encourage you to share this link with your friends and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thank you.